Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, we will talk about inverse variation. By definition, an inverse variation, also known as inverse proportionality, is a type of variation which states that as independent variable increases or decreases, dependent variable decreases or increases at a constant rate. Some of its real-life concepts involves electric consumption, and savings. The less we consume electricity, the more money we can save. Conversely, the more we consume electricity, especially to non-essential staffs, the higher the amount we need to pay, which means less we're left for our savings. Also, the time of work and the number of workers doing a specific task are inversely proportional. It takes lesser time for more number of workers compared to a few. Inverse variation as a mathematical equation is written as y equals k over x. That is read as y varies inversely as x or y varies inversely proportional to x. Where y is the dependent variable, x is the independent variable, and k is the constant of variation. Now, when finding the constant of variation, we typically multiply the dependent and independent variables. So, k is equal to y times x, or simply yx. The graph of an inverse variation, y equals k over x, is a curve that does not intersect any of the axes x and y. It shows that as one quantity increases, other decreases. Now, to better understand this, here are some examples. Item number 1, y varies inversely as x. y is equal to 5 when x is 4. Determine the following. Letter A, constant of variation. Letter B, variation equation. Letter C, value of y when x is 10. And letter D, graph of the variation. So for the constant of variation, as mentioned earlier, it is obtained by multiplying the dependent variable and the independent variable. Equation will be k equals yx. Substitute the values of the variables. That is k equals 5 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. Hence, the constant of the variation is 20. For letter b or the variation equation, here we will just substitute the value of the constant 20 to the variation equation. It will become y equals 20 over x. For letter C, what is the value of y when x is 10? Here we will use the variation equation y equals 20 over x. To solve for y, we need to substitute x value of 10. That will be 20 divided by 10. 20 divided by 10 is equal to 2. Thus, when x is 10, y is equal to 2. Now, graphing this variation, we first construct table of values. For the independent variable x, say we set the values 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Using the variation equation to solve for y, when x is 2, y is equal to 10. That is 20 divided by 2. Now, when x is 4, y is 5. When x is 6, y is 10 over 3 or 3 and 1 third. When x is 8, y is 5 over 2 or 2.5. And when x is 10, y is equal to 2. Thus, the graph would look like this. For our second example, the table below shows the time denoted by variable t in hours taken by a car that travels uniformly from Laguna to Manila at speed v in kilometers per hour. For the first row, that is for time denoted by the variable t, we have 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. For the second row, we have speed denoted by variable v. Here we have 75. 50, 37.5, 30, and positive 25. Now, determine the following. Letter A, 
the constant of variation, letter B, variation equation, letter C, how long will it take for a car driving at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour to travel from Laguna to Manila? And letter D, draw the graph of the variation. In this example, for letter A, the constant of variation, here we will multiply the independent variable, which is the speed, by the dependent variable, time. The constant will be K equals 2 times 75. 2 times 75 is 150. Also notice that even if we will use other pairs like 3 and 50, 4 and 37.5, K is still equal to 150. For letter B, variation equation, as you can see, as the speed of a car decreases, the time it covers a certain distance gets higher. With that, we will follow the formula for an inverse variation. That is T equals K over V or T equals 150 over V since the constant of variation is 150. For letter C, how long will it take for a car driving at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour to travel from Laguna to Manila? For this question, we will use the variation equation T equals 150 over V. Now substitute the speed, 100 kilometers per hour, to know the time. That is T equals 150 over 100. 150 divided by 100 is 1.5 hours or 1.5 hours or simply 1 hour and 30 minutes. Thus, it takes 1.5 hours for a car driving at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour to travel from Laguna to Manila. For the graph, we may use the table provided. Time, we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and for the speed, we have 75, 50, 37.5, 30, and 25 respectively. Thus, the graph would look like this. For our third example, Boyle's law states that under constant temperature, the volume denoted by the variable V of a gas varies inversely as its pressure P. If a gas has a volume of 106 cubic inches when the pressure is 14.7 PSI or pounds per square inch, find the volume when the pressure is 15.5 PSI. So when dealing with this problem, we first need to solve for the constant of variation. Again, constant is the product of the dependent variable V or the volume and the independent variable P or pressure. That is K equals 106 times 14.7. Hence, the constant of variation is 1,558.2. Supplying this constant to the variation equation, it will become V equals 1,558.2 over P. After that, we will solve for variable V or the volume when P is 15.5. Substitute this value to our initial variation equation. It will become V equals 1,558.2 over 15.5. Dividing those values... That is approximately equal to 100.53. Hence, the volume of a gas is approximately 100.53 cubic inches when the pressure is 15.5 PSI. To sum up, inverse variation is a type of variation which states that as the independent variable increases or decreases, the dependent variable decreases or increases at a constant rate. It is represented by the variation equation y equals k over x, read as y varies inversely as x or y varies inversely proportional to x, where x is the independent variable, y is the dependent variable, and k is the constant of variation. k value is the product of the dependent variable and the independent variable. Its graph is a curve that does not intersect any of the two axes. Thank you for watching. 
God bless.